Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. May God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune and rich in blessings. May you both own nothing but happiness from this day forward. Cheers. I, Nicholas, in the presence of God and these witnesses, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. Take you, Sarah, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Sarah. In the presence of God and these witnesses. In the presence of God and these witnesses. Take you, Nicholas, to be my husband. Take you, Nicholas, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Spencer. Lives are full of choices, some rather small, others very big. These newlyweds have made one of the biggest choices they'll ever make in their lives. I believe Sarah and Nick will have a great life together. In all times, the good and the bad, you have to remember who your marriage is built on and know that he is going to bring you through both the good and the bad days. Nick is generally the nicest person with the best of intentions. Nick, like Sarah, puts everyone else first and has a true passion for enhancing and changing the lives of children. They say you should marry your best friend, and today they have done exactly that. <laughs> 